Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the new Ubuntu Mate 1610. Uh, just came out, just released today. I had looked at uh, some of the uh, prior release candidates, but this is the first install of the uh, new final release. <clears throat> now, uh, as usual, it's uh, Ubuntu, uh, whether it be Mate or Lubuntu or Zubuntu, they put out a great product. So I'm going to use the same criteria that I've used in my recent reviews, and uh, we'll see how this uh, Ubuntu Mate measures up. Now, the, the install went along flawlessly. Uh, the install, and let me open up the, open up with the leaf pad. The install time, <coughs> Now this is the only, and I'm glad you guys can see this, this is the only uh, problem. I've got numerous system pro uh, program problem detected uh, messages, <clears throat> which I'm just closing. Um, I had another one. I took a screenshot. Ubuntu 16.10 has ex experienced an internal error. I, I elected to check off ignore future problems of this type and so I'm not getting those any longer but I do get a few random error messages that don't seem to have any uh, major negative effect I'm just closing them out uh, so as I was saying the let's go through the criteria one at a time now this is uh, I'm I'm uh, uh, putting a name to this uh, review process I'm calling it the DCML process distribution criteria measurement listing and just coincidentally that matches up with uh, don't call me Lenny I, 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 you know I wonder how that happened but anyway let's move on with the uh, review so the distro is Ubuntu Mate 1610 Yakety Yak 64-bit um, the specs of this system are listed here it is a relatively high-end system uh, it does not give you the option to forego a bootloader install during the installation process. So you do have to elect a location for the bootloader. Uh, and as I've mentioned in the past, if you want to, uh, if you're having your, your boot process controlled by another distribution, just install the Grub bootloader to the petition that you're installing Ubuntu Mate 2. And that should work out fine. Uh, the wi my Wi-Fi was in, was uh, recognized my dongle not, not Broadcom but the dongle was was recognized and uh, configured um, let's see uh, uh, yeah okay so the dongle I used for the install the install time was 12 minutes and 28 seconds uh, because I had to in install the grub bootloader that does take a few minutes boot time first boot was 13 seconds the default kernel is 4.8.0-22 generic for 64-bit. RAM usage on first boot was 484 megabytes. Uh, CPU usage is less than 1% on first boot. NVIDIA installed with no problem at all through the driver manager. And I hate to make a comparison, but this is what I'm talking about when I look at a distribution called uh, that's called LXLE. Uh, it is Ubuntu based. It is the 1604, uh, so it should, and it does have the driver manager, so it should utilize the driver manager as well as other Ubuntu uh, distributions, and that does not seem to be the case. But in for Ubuntu Mate, it worked flawlessly. So uh, Nvidia was installed, and let's pull that up. Uh, through the driver manager and it's running 367.57 uh, let's see so <clears throat> Broadcom Wi-Fi actually was working out of the box even though it wasn't visible during the install when I booted for first boot Broadcom Wi-Fi was recognized and all I had to do was select my network so that's terrific now the printer install my printer is installed and let's take a look at that so the printer is the uh, brother MFC J870 DW it installed using the normal uh, command line install process that I use within Debian or Ubuntu distributions 
Netflix is working on Google Chrome. Uh, Hulu is working on Firefox and Amazon Prime is working on Google Chrome and these are all applications created through the ICE SSB application and that's under internet so if you go into internet you can see the Amazon Prime Hulu and Netflix I created using ICE okay so the default theme is ambient mate it's for GTK 2 or 3 the icon theme is ambient mate. The font is Ubuntu 11. Uh, let's see, I'm going to revise this. Let's take a look at something. Control center and appearance. Okay. So let's see what we have because those are not statistics from this distribution. Uh, number of wallpapers, let's see, you've got 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 52. So it looks like 52 wallpapers. Let's revise that. Number of icon sets, themes, we've got 4, 8, 12, 14 themes available. And the icons would be under the customize. So let's go to icons and we've got three, four, five, eight, sixteen. So we've got sixteen icon sets to, to choose from. Now everything you see here that I'm running is the default. I have not changed any of the appearance options. The font is Ubuntu 11. Desktop environment is Mate 1.16.0. Window manager is Metacity or Marco with compositing enabled. Uh, the distro family is Ubuntu. LibreOffice is your office suite. For gaming, uh, Steam I installed using the command line, but you can also install it via the software center and it works fine. Battle.net, ironically, this is the first Ubuntu distribution that I was able to use Wine and Wine Tricks and not have the need to install Play on Linux. So Hearthstone and Battle.net are here because I was able to install Wine and Wine Tricks and then use the command line to um, install a couple of packages through Wine Tricks and then all I did was download the Battle.net execution file. You right click on that and open with Wine Installer. And that installed flawlessly, no problems at all. Now there are a couple of issues that I came across and let's take a look at them. If you open the control center, you cannot scroll any lower than where it's at. The scroll is locked at a certain point. It will not scroll no matter what I try. The only way you can access all of the items in the control center is to enlarge the window. And now you have access to everything. So that's a little bit of a bug. Um, and I'll report that to the Ubuntu folks. So we'll close that out. Um, so there's a preferences window scrolling issue, the error messages that I'm getting. And I just wanted to mention a couple things. If you install caffeine, uh, in order to get it to work in your system tray like I have, you will have to go to the control center, open up the window fully, go to your startup applications, and take out the caffeine uh, default listing. You want to uncheck that and create your own caffeine listing. Just, I'll show you what I did. Just create it with caffeine, but you'll need to use the command caffeine indicator. That's the only way you can get the icon in your system tray.
So it's caffeine, caffeine indicator. Do not use the startup command that's put there when you install caffeine. That one does not put the application in your system tray. And for uh, the other issue I wanted to mention is if you have a uh, Chrome, Google Chrome deb file, do not use it. Make sure you go to Google Chrome and download the latest and use that to install. That's the only way Google Chrome will function properly. So guys, that is it for this uh, review of uh, Ubuntu Mate. If I can add my own opinion, uh, it is that Ubuntu Mate always puts out a wonderful product. Uh, they put a lot of effort into it and it shows. So I highly recommend Ubuntu Mate. Whatever little um, uh, annoyances that we have right now with the initial release, I'm sure they'll be resolved. Uh, but all in all, Ubuntu Mate, as with all of the Ubuntu releases, are top-notch. I am going to do a, a review of the new uh, uh, Lubuntu uh, release. Uh, so I'll have that within a day or two for you. So guys, uh, that is it for this video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by the channel, and I will see you soon. Take care.